Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Night Storm here, welcome back to Revive the Witch. So, today is the 1st of July, and so the Gold Petal Shop has been reset, and so we're going to take a look at who's the new Golden Petal character, and I'll be running it down and see if she's worth getting. So, first things first, ensure that every first day of the month, or at least any time uh, during this month, you buy the golden petals with uh, the white petals. Uh, this is just a, a formality, you know, just to ensure that everyone um, buys this one. Um, in terms of everything else in the shop, I wouldn't recommend getting any of them. Only get the golden petals because you get 40 by uh, spending 400, so you don't get that many. Um, well, if I redeem, I guess I'll get a lot back, but yeah. In any case, let's take a look at the golden petal character. Okay, alright, I didn't expect this. So we have Catherine as the Petal Shop character. So I would say this is pretty big. Um, for the most part, I think Catherine is currently your best uh, Brimstone tank. And uh, you can use her for safer clears in harder content as she'll be able to protect your party as she is very tanky and she can also reduce the physical defense of the enemies. So I do have Catherine so we can go over her skills real quick before I dive deeper into her kit. So um, for this skill review uh, my, my two active skills are only level 4, they're not level 5. But we can view the max level here. So at level 5 First skill, it's a charge skill. So like Caledonia, um, she's not going to be using any order to activate her skills. But in any case, her first skill is a charge skill called Deity Aegis. Um, at level 5, it grants immunity to the next 5 instances of physical damage. Magical damage um, still, gets, still goes through and increases Catherine's physical defense and magic defense by 5% of her max health redirects all damage intended for allied dolls to self so it's like a an over, a full cover to self for the ne next 10 seconds and recovers health equal to 50% of physical defense every second so as you can see she becomes a full blown tank after this charge skill activates you know uh, no one except her takes damage and she still becomes tanky for both physical and magic uh, attacks because of her buff where it increased where, where they are increased by 5% of her max health at level 5. Now moving on to her second skill a banner of glory it costs 3 chaos to use and it grants all allies a shield that absorbs damage equal to 200% of Catherine's physical defense for 10 seconds and applies blessing of glory effect to all allies for 10 seconds which is a buff where upon dealing damage 5 times, deals extra damage, extra physical damage equal to 300% of attack to all enemies, stuns them for half a second, and reduce their physical defense by 60% of Catherine's physical defense. So you know, that was a lot to take in, but essentially, um, grants a buff, grants a barrier, and the buff is essentially where your um, lower physical defense is plus some CC which works against uh, P enemies in PvP and some PvE if the bosses aren't immune to it. And then last but not least her passive is called Res um, Resplendent, oops, sorry, um, Resplendent Majesty and at level 2 passive on skill use increases damage taken by enemies by 30% for 10 seconds. So basically Regardless if she uses her charge skill or the S2, the enemies will have their damage taken increased by 30%, just like that. You know, very nice passive there. So overall, as you can see, she provides a lot to the Brimstone teams. Um, as Brimstone characters are focused on physical damage, having Catherine provides you with good defensive and offensive um, support. So if you do need someone that is a little bit more on the defensive side but still providing the um, offensive capabilities by reducing physical defense, then Catherine is 
the one to go for. Now, um, I would recommend her, obviously, you know, if you do have the petals, but I just want you to keep in mind just a few things. Okay, so um, if we go to, let's say, the current end game, Evil Return Rebirth, if we take a look at the rankings list, you'll notice that, let's take a look at the first team. So if we take a look at the first team, you'll notice that um, their main DPS is a, is indeed a Brimstone character who is Isabel, but she is supported by um, two characters that aren't Brimstone, so Dorin and Tonell. So what this means is um, when it comes, like later on, when it comes to trying to finish things very quickly and the enemy doesn't hit too hard, like your team is able to survive, then that's where you could you could argue that um, Catherine herself wouldn't be that. Okay, no, look, look, I just I'm just corrected right now. Well, as you can see, this guy. Um, let's see, what place is he? I think it's one of them here. Of course, Cosette. So twentieth place does use. Oh no, that was another one. But they also use Catherine here. So you know that's nice to know at least, right? So. Catherine is being used in the top rankings. Apologies for that. I uh, jumped the gun there. It's just that the f the very very high rankings, you know, they tend to go for big DPS and probably a whale, Isabel. You know what I mean? But yeah, as you can see, actually, there you go. I spoke too soon, guys. Catherine is being used, so there you go. I think that gives you guys enough reason to get her now. Um, but normally speaking, when it comes to speedrun speedrun, obviously you're not going to be using Catherine there, but Catherine is usable everywhere, as in she's good everywhere, you know, regardless of Chronos Base Breach, um, Evil Return, Broken Lands, Path Not Taken, you know, Catherine will help your team, um, especially, well, physical team only anyway. But yeah, so just to end off this video, I'll try hopefully it's not too long you know the tldr is if you have the golden petals get catherine um if you well depending on who you don't have right so hopefully you did get tonel from um last month or maybe you already have her then you know it's very safe for you to get catherine she will help bolster your brimstone roster especially if you have uh, the DPS already and then Catherine will be there to protect and support the damage. Well in any case that's all I've got time for for this video. Um, Catherine was a surprise. Um, I didn't think that she'd be next. Then again I, I don't really check who's next and stuff for the rotation. But yeah Catherine is a is a good to get character here but I already have Catherine so um, I'm not going to be using my golden petals. In any case, if you guys got any more doubts or any more questions regarding Catherine, do let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be sure to respond. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.